Let's talk about the wheel. Thanks Shireen for uploading on this topic, the wheel strategy. After you mastered the four option basics, you could up your option games by doing the wheel strategy. With a simple Google search, you'll read about how it's a long term strategy for consistent income. You can, and how to generate consistent returns with the wheel strategy. It sounds very good. Is it too good to be true? Is it real? How does it work? It also looks complicated with those numbers and charts. Is it something hard to do? Actually, the wheel is real. And you can learn about it in the next 10 minutes and start doing it yourself. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to use my design skill to explain the wheel strategy in a user friendly and visual way. And I will do it in two chapters. First, I will go over what it is, how it works, and show you a demo on Robinhood. Then I will talk about what happens when things don't go according to plan. This is going to be a very exciting episode to learn about this advanced option play so that you have the option to make a profit from this knowledge. Pretty good pun, huh? You also don't need to smash the like button just yet. Do it in the end if you find this video useful or insightful. Hold me accountable. Now, grab your favorite drink and let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. And I'm here today to use design to explain the wheel strategy. To understand the wheel strategy, you first have to know selling puts and selling calls. You can check out the two very easy to understand option trading videos that I've talked about before or just follow along. I will catch you up to speed at a high level real quick. When you sell a put, you are selling a put option contract. You are selling a contract. You sell this to someone else. They pay you some money for it. To sell the put, you need to set aside some cash as collateral. It's required in case the buyer decides to exercise that contract. Then you will have to use that collateral money to buy 100 shares of that stock at that price. That's the definition of the contract. That's the terms of the contract. When that happens, your collateral becomes 100 shares of that stock. You still get to keep that premium that the buyer paid you. The contract is gone and that marks the end of selling the put. When you sell a call, you are selling a call option contract. You also sell this to someone else. They pay you some money as a premium. Instead of cash, this time you will need to put down 100 shares of that stock as collateral. It's required because if the buyer decides to exercise this call, you will have to sell your 100 shares of Tesla in this case to the buyer at this strike price. If that happens, you will get the cash from selling those 100 shares, you keep the premium that you got from the buyer, the contract is done, that marks the end of selling the call. Well, since now high level, you're up to speed, that's a good segue to the wheel. What is the wheel strategy? How does it work? The wheel strategy only has four things, four steps. Step one, you sell the put. Step two, you let the put get exercised. Step three, you sell the call. Step four, you let the call get exercised. To start the wheel, as described in step one, you sell a put on a stock. Let's say Tesla. You sell a put. The current price is 184, expiration date next Friday. You pick a strike price that is out of the money, in this case, lower than the share price. So let's go down, let's say 170. So it says cash secure put. And if you tap continue, review order and it will say collateral 17k as you know 170 times 100 is 17k that's the collateral that's the cash you have to put down and on the get-go you will receive 370 dollars because that's what the buyer will pay you for this put contract you hit submit you're done with step one here comes step two you leave the contract open through the end of expiration date Say down the line stock Tesla, it drops to 165. Then the buyer, of course, of this put contract will exercise it. According to the contract, your 17K collateral will be used to pay for 100 shares of Tesla. You will buy 100 shares at 170 per share. This is automatic, you don't have to do anything. The exercise will happen over the weekend. So on Monday, instead of seeing this open position of the put contract that you sold, Instead of seeing 17k collateral, you will only see 100 shares of Tesla appear in your account. That's step 2. Very hands off, very simple. Here comes step 3. You will need to sell 
a call, you pick out a strike price that is again out of the money. For calls, it will be above the current stock price. To the same example, we said Tesla fell below 165, let's say 164. So out of money will be let's say 175. So we can find 175 strike for sell call. And then you click continue, review order. When you get to the review screen, it should ask you for 100 shares of Tesla as collateral. And you will have that because you got exercised on the put contract. I don't have it because I only have like 22 shares at the moment. But since you have 100 shares, you're good to go, you hit submit, and then you are done. Last step, step four. When Tesla stock goes back up, goes above the strike price of 175, whoever bought your contract will want to exercise. Then your 100 shares will be automatically sold to that buyer at a strike price of 175. This is also automatic. You don't have to do anything. Just live your life and come back on Monday. You will see 17.5K dollars in your account because you sold those shares at 175 per share. The call option contract position is closed. Step four is completed. That's one full loop and cycle of the wheel. At the end of step four, since you have got cash, you can go back to step one. You can sell a new put to restart a new cycle to keep the wheel spinning. At each step, you make a profit. That's fantastic. Each option contract lasts one week at a minimum. And getting exercise happens over the weekend, so you can actually do one full wheel in two weeks. Meaning, if you want, you can wheel it every two weeks. That's how consistent stream can start to come in. And that is very cool. So what happened if at the end of step one, the underlying stock never go below the strike price in the put that you sell? How does it get to step two? What do you do? There is a very simple answer to that, which leads to chapter two. The non-perfect and the downside scenario. What happens if the wheel breaks? When will it go south? The wheel can break at any time, to be honest, but it's very normal, it's fine. For example, at the end of step one, if Tesla stock doesn't drop low enough, you wouldn't get exercise on your put. You will not get 100 shares. It's fine because you already made money from collecting the premium. You got $370 by selling that put. If that happens, all you have to do is to repeat step one. Sell another put to restart the wheel. The same goes for step three. You got 100 shares, you sold a call, but the stock didn't go above the strike price in the call contract. So the call would expire worthless. You would not get exercised, meaning you will still have 100 shares. That's also okay, because you still get to keep the premium from selling the call. That 1.8K premium, you still get to keep it. Then the following Monday, you repeat step three, sell another out of the money call to continue the wheel. Pretty easy. Normally, it's totally fine for the wheel to break because at the end of the day, you are still collecting money from the premium from selling puts or selling calls. But there are two scenarios that will put you at a disadvantage to the downside. Remember in 2022, Tesla is falling crazy at 43%. Let's say when Tesla is 308, 309, and you sold a 280 put, and then as you wish, it drops to like 265. You got exercised with 100 shares. Then you go to step three. You sell maybe a 280 call. And of course, you could win by keep selling the 280 call for a very long time because ever since then, it has been a downtrend. But if we hop to the option chain, we look at sell call, we look at 280 for example, you will see it's not a lot of premium you're collecting. You're collecting $1 by selling 280 calls when the stock price is 185. And imagine when the stock price is 108, 120, 160, the premium will not be higher than $1 either. And you bought 100 shares at 280. The unrealized loss could be substantial. And even today, it's still not 280 yet, it's 185. 76. Alternatively, you can sell a lower and lower and lower strike call in step three to just follow the downtrend to get more premium, to collect more money. But when the stock 
started to recover unexpectedly, you will be forced to sell 100 shares at a price. Maybe you sold a call here uh, when the stock is 108, you sold a call at 120. And of course, it went beyond 120 now, so you'll be forced to sell your 100 shares at 120. But remember, you bought it at 280, so you will be suffering from this loss. On the flip side, when a stock is trending up crazy, the wheel can break as well. For example, look at 2020. That's when Tesla really took off. When it's about, let's say, $64. And say you have 6K in your account. You use it as a collateral, sell a $60 out of the money put. Yes, you do make money by selling that maybe let's say 200 bucks. That means you win from selling that put, you will have 6.2K at the end. But then you realize the stock price is getting higher, higher and higher. And because you only have 6.2K, that means you can only sell a 62 strike from then on, which will give you barely anything. Well, we can take a look. We can go to the option. We can look at sell, put. We can look at even further expiration date. We can look at $60, $62. It gives you a dollar, barely anything. But instead, if you spend 6 k on Tesla stock, instead of wheeling it, you could have made 185 divided by 64 minus 1 over 180% return. All is to say, when the underlying stock is going up crazy, you don't lose money, but you will miss out a bigger gain. Overall, from what you have seen so far, the wheel is real. It is a simple four-step strategy that can effectively generate consistent income when it goes to the right direction, even when it breaks from time to time. However, when the underlying stock trends up or down significantly, it becomes harder to wheel and carries greater risks. Over the years, I've actually experimented a few ways to mitigate or go around those risks, but they get fairly technical and not the most straightforward things for beginners to understand, so I will skip those in this video. But if you are interested in learning those tips, tricks, best practices of the wheel strategy, let me know in the comment section down below and I could make a video for it. So did you learn something new? Is this video useful? Hope I earn a like and subscribe from you for this video. Here are more videos on learning how to make more money trading options in a simple and visual way. Check them out right there. Keep your design to square up your finances. See you all in the next video. Cheers.